Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICIC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 18, Quadrilaterals, Exercise 18, Question Number 6. ABCD is a quadrilateral, right? ABCD is a quadrilateral. AO and BO are angle bisectors. AO, BO are angle bisectors of angle A and angle B, right? So, AO bisects angle A and OB bisects angle B, okay? which meet at O. They are all meeting at O. That is given. If angle C is 70 degrees, angle D is 50 degrees, find angle AOB, right? So, they are saying angle C is 70 degrees, angle D is 50 degrees. Two measures, angle C, angle D, 50 degrees, uh, your 70 degrees and 50 degrees respectively and they are asking us value of this angle. AOB we have to find right that is there in the triangle okay fine don't worry you might find this question very difficult at first but there's nothing in this question it's very easy okay look let's come to the quadrilateral right in quadrilateral what do we have here uh, we have A B C and D so in quadrilateral A B c and d we choose that okay so in quadrilateral a b c d right this entire quadrilateral that you can see this one right we're taking this so again you will use angle sum property right angle sum property is what that sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees okay come to this quadrilateral you have angle a plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D that is 360 degrees right you can write it down here why angle sum property of a quadrilateral right so you don't know a angle a we are taking this whole right not the part this entire thing same for angle b we don't know their values right so let's leave them as they are angle a plus angle b is e as it is c you know 70 degrees and d also you know 50 degrees that is equal to 360 yes so angle a plus angle b plus 120 is 360 angle a plus angle b is equal to 360 minus 120 that is 240 right so angle a plus angle b is 240 degrees clear okay that means we will leave it here only right you can write it here angle a plus angle b okay so both these angles combined have the measure of 240 degrees now here is the important part where you need to apply logic see it is given OA is angular bisector of angle A right that means what it divides angle A into two equal parts whenever we say suppose this is my angle right and this line is the bisector so this angle will be equal to this angle both the angles they will be equal that is the purpose of angular bisector so same purpose oa is serving here okay so oa is dividing angle a into two equal parts right this angle as you can see and this angle two angles have been marked in the figure only try to look at this carefully so oa divides two equal parts angle a into two equal parts OB divides angle B into two equal parts. Yes, yes, because it is also bisecting angle B only. So OB will divide angle B into two equal parts. If I do here half angle A plus half angle B, can it be written as half of 240 or not? Yes. Okay, see, 
this hole is A. We are going to take only this much part of it. Right? It is equal. What is it? OAB is half of this entire angle A. That is why we have done half of angle A. This OBA is half of entire angle B. That is why we have done half of angle B. So when we are doing half on both sides, it means that half will come on other side also, right? So half of 240. That means what? 240. So 2 and 120 can cancel. So half angle A plus half angle B that is equal to 120 degrees. Yes. Okay. That means OAB plus OBA is what? 120 degrees. Come to this triangle now. Triangle OAB. We change our point of focus from quadrilateral to triangle OAB. Come to this triangle. How many angles do you have? Three angles. Write down the name of those angles one by one. Angle AOB plus angle OAB plus angle OBA. What is it equal to? 180 degrees. Because of angle sum property of triangle, right? A triangle, the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees because there are three angles in the triangle. Now look here, AOB you have to find. So we don't know AOB. Okay, clear. Leave it. Next what I will write. Angle OAB plus angle OBA. OAB is half of angle A. Yes. Plus OBA. OBA is half of angle B. Yes. So can I not write here plus half of angle A plus your half of angle B. Yes. Is equal to 180 degrees or no? Yes. We have just replaced. OAB is replaced with half angle A. OBA is replaced with half angle B. Some will still be the same because it is a triangle. Now comes the part where you have to substitute the value, right? Substitute. So angle AOB, again, I don't know this value. I don't know angle AOB, so leave it. But I know half angle A plus half angle B is coming out to be what? 120 degrees. This is important. So substitute it here. Plus 120 is equal to 180. Yes or no? Fine. Now is this equation solvable? Yes, you can solve this. Why? Now it can be solved, right? Because there is one unknown. Okay. This half angle A and half angle B, comprisingly we have taken because their value was 120. So we have substituted. Now angle A or B is going to be equal to 180. Plus 120 will come to this side. You will have minus 120. Yes. Angle AOB is equal to 60 degrees. That is what you get here. This is your final answer. AOB is 60 degrees. Right. It's very clear. First, we took the angle sum of the quadrilateral 360. We put the values. We found out value of angle A plus angle B from here like this. Right. And then we have just half that the angles right half angle a plus half angle b that means half of 240 that is what 120 right so half angle a plus half angle b that is representing what oab plus oba so we have substituted the value in this triangle with the value of angle aob we have added it that is 180 degree through angle sum property of triangle and we have taken out aob here okay that is the answer that is 60 degrees and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and